12 million dollars worth of Hermes handbags, a gold necklace that's worth one and a half mil, and put it all together and soon you're talking real money, 225 million in goods seized in a massive raid on properties linked to the former Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak. It's the 1MDB scandal where Razak is accused of siphoning billions off. He denies any wrongdoing. Umar is a presenter on Malaysia's business station, joins me now, gone up early in the morning in Kuala Lumpur. Good to see you, Umar. Um, so they're, look Richard. they're looking for these assets. They found um, uh, basically lots of trinkets and goods, but that's not really the full amount of money, is it? Where's the real money gone? Well, we have no idea. I mean, um, from the reports we're reading through the Wall Street Journal, this looks like a scandal of global proportions. I don't think human history has ever seen this kind of embezzlement. And you say trinkets. I mean, they found about 200 million in jewelry alone from houses. God knows what else there is out there. OK, so one of the reports earlier in the week basically suggested that it was um, Razak's wife, Najib's wife, who was behind much of the uh, of the allegations that are go that are going on. That's right. So the lawyers have come out and kind of refuted that report um, rather mildly. However, uh, it was a report in the Wall Street Journal that kind of painted this picture that it was her greed that drove the embezzlement behind One MDB. I mean, there are these comparisons made between. Imelda Marcos and Grace Mugabe, but I think our Rosma Manso is on a different level altogether. I think those I think those comparisons are somewhat misplaced. Is there anybody who is not I mean, is it now the received wisdom in KL that even I mean obviously the election took place, but is it the received wisdom right. that Razak did make off with the money? I think that's the general belief. Uh, even if he wasn't necessarily, I guess, aware of everything that was going on, um, there seems to be this belief that the family was somehow involved in this massive scandal, right? right? I, I mean, so here's the interesting thing about... Yeah, carry on. Well, will this end up in the courts? I mean, he was stopped from leaving the country. Is this going to end up with him facing trial? Is that the general belief? It feels like it. I mean, that was the promise that this new Pakatan Harapan government came in on. They said that if we, they were elected to power, they would look to uh, getting to the bottom of 1MDB. And that involves essentially three or four people at the moment. Uh, Najib Razak, his wife, Rosma Manso, a financier by the name of Joe Lo, who's not in Malaysia, whose right. whereabouts are generally unknown. And, uh, and and Najib Razak's stepson, or Rosma's son, Riza Aziz. And these are kind of the four major players oh. Um, and the idea is that, you know, uh, just two nights ago, there were reporters camped outside his house because the belief was he may have been arrested or he was going to be arrested. So uh, we don't know when that's going to happen, but that's the general belief. Good to see you, sir. Thank you for getting up in the middle of the night. Uh, five o'clock in the morning for My you. My pleasure. Thank you. Good to have you on the programme. That's right. Thank you. Thanks. We will take...